Hi, good morning everybody and welcome to the Olympian table. Here we are in good old Texas with the bullhorns and all the other good stuff. And this morning I have my buddy, Mr. James Lee from the Lee Group Loans. How you doing, Mr. James? I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm just looking forward to see what the Fed thinks. Oh man, who cares what they think? Well, oh, Jerome! Jerome Rome it'll, over there, what we call It'll make a difference to us all. I mean, I think it'll affect everybody and its well, perception. It, it will. It will. Um, it's, this is going to be more, probably, this podcast, more financially um, grounded, I guess you could say. My it, wish. My wish. Yeah, we usually have, you know, topics that are, we're going to talk about a little bit of stuff, because, you know, that's not on the list. I got to have a little bit of controversy or something in there, but, uh, you know, we'll, talk, we'll go in this morning and just talk a little bit about... Uh, where we are in this market, if, if you are not aware, the stock market has been down big here the past few days um, and people are losing money. Uh, those that are, you know, day trading, sorry for you guys, but it's a long game for me. I don't know. It, it's, you know, we try to kind of keep it, um, keep it solid and I put the money in there and just let it do what it does. Now, you, on the other hand, sir. You are, uh, are a, a mover and a shaker amongst the markets, I would Some say. Um, yeah, <laughs> probably more more shaking than moving. <laughs> but nevertheless, you 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 know you kind of you're in there making a little bit of money here and doing all of this stuff here. So, uh, and we'll just talk a little bit about it, um, kind of where we are. So, um, excuse me, Bitcoin is drastically lower than where it was. And I'll probably take these out of order a little bit here, guys. Um, was it 38,000 right now? I want to say probably a couple months ago, yeah, we were- 37,988 it was. We were over 60 at one time mm -hmm. back in uh, just December or so, I believe. Um, so it's it's been quite a big run in the opposite direction. Um, one interesting article that I found um, Odell Beckham, who is a, a a wide receiver for the now is it Los Angeles Rams. Um, great guy, great you know, uh, great receiver, shall I say? I don't know him personally as a guy, but great receiver. He was signed to the Rams after being let let go or cut or whatever um, from I think it was the Browns, and took his contract. That was, you know, it was a deal for $750,000, you know, three quarters of a million bucks and decided he was going to take payment in Bitcoin. Now, when he signed, that was probably, it's like, you know what? That's an awesome deal. That, you know, that, 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 that guy's smart. He, he probably couldn't have made a better decision than to take Bitcoin at that time um, as payment. Well, I'm going to read a little bit of something here. Um, Odell Beckham, on November the 12th, signed a deal with the Rams worth $750,000. He announced he would take that in Bitcoin. At the time, Bitcoin was worth dollars so that was what it was worth one bitcoin guy so that that's he put his money in there cool he was good with it today bitcoin is worth thirty five thousand four hundred now this is a couple days ago to tweet um he's kind of gained a little bit more now so that deal today that he signed is worth four hundred and twelve thousand dollars now he's going to get taxed on 750 because that's what, you know, he, they paid him. His choice to take it a tender in Bitcoin, that was on him. Federal and California state taxes will be 50.3%. That means Odo Beckham will have netted 35000 from the Rams on that contract this year. Out of $750,000. Now, every, a lot of people will look at that and say, gosh, man, 35000 that's all he made? I believe that Odell will win in the end because he's not hurting for 750 grand. I mean, he, he this guy is a star receiver, played for the Giants, drafted him. He, he's 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 that guy, right? If he leaves this money here, he still has the Bitcoin. It's just not worth as much. 
And as soon as it pops back to 64,000 and closer to 80, which I think it's going to go to, um, Odell wins. Well, there's some people think it could go down to 25, 28. It, it may. And I say by the dip. I, I was watching some people last night and they were saying it could go down to sort of just under 30 by around February the 14th. Could go down and then it'll start to go up and then it'll just, you know, come back on the reversal and start to go north. So now is the time for everybody to get in. Get in, right? You know, millionaires will be made, in my opinion, at the start of 2000. For all those folks that were like, oh, I missed it. I didn't get in. I didn't even do it. You can get 10 bucks into it at the moment. That's it. A little that, bit. That, the other part that I just want to sort of bring up, I know you're talking about, about, about Bitcoin, but, you know, through my research at the moment, it was saying that um, if you go to CryptoGecko.com, what basically, the, apparently the top 42 projects are all fired up uh, on the Ethereum network. So, you know, if you're, going to, if you're going to put your money into anything at the moment, we are not giving financial advice, but we just, you know, I'm just sort of... None of this is financial advice. I am just advice. repeating things that are research that I've sort of looked out for. They're basically saying that um, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, a lot of people that was buying gold at one point and metals and precious metals, now starting to buy Bitcoin to edge against inflation. Yeah. And if you think about it, what would you rather do? Buy gold now? Because, you know, gold's been bouncing around the last few days. Right. So apart silver, I think, said it had a better increase than gold. Now, I'm not really into the precious metals. But that's been bouncing around a little bit. Um, and it's been really interesting. But, I mean, we're all waiting for the Fed to, you know, kick out their results, what they want to do in, you know, was it 2 o'clock? Eastern time or one o'clock central time? What time is it? For the meet uh, for meetings? No, for the Fed. For the, the Fed, Fed meeting to announce. Yeah, uh, typically, well, it, it'll be one o'clock. I okay. think our time. But is that Eastern? I time believe so. Or central? Our time. Ta- we're central. That's what I, that's what I said. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's one o'clock central, uh, two o'clock Eastern. So it'll be interesting. And your no. and your vision is you think you think interest rates will edge up a little bit? No, I know they will. You know they will. I know they will. It's not a thing. A quarter percent. We're probably going to see interest rates, you know, get <clears throat> over four percent. Um, right now, I think on average, it's, you're probably looking at about three, three and five eighths or so. But we're probably seeing an edge of about another three quarters or so. Um, and what? And, and by, the end, by the end of the year, where do you think you'll be? <clears throat> Honestly, I think we'll probably see a run. This is just all guess my guesstimation. We'll see a run oh, to where it gets above four. Um, and you know, sit there for a little bit. And I think um, if if they don't see the pullback like they want to, um, they won't have any choice but to to go down again. So I think it eventually we'll see the hike, kind of see how the economy you know um, behaves from it. And um, I, I think we're probably going to be in in a world where the rates are going to be, you know, hovering around the high threes, the low fours for a little while. Um, and they'll, you know, they'll level out, but people so will still buy. So you think they'll be around four at the end of the year? I think so. And then the end of 2023, where do you think? We'll I have no clue. No idea. You, no you, idea. You, uh, honestly, typically before. Do you see it progressively moving up? Well. Back to the sort of rates that we used to see around I don't know they, 7 or 8%. I don't know if we can afford for them to get that high again. Um, but who knows? Um, you know, twenty. That, that's next year's uh, right before an election year. So um, sometimes you see rates kind of move in a favorable direction. Um during that time so it's just kind of one of those things where you, you never really know kind of what the what the economy is doing i mean yeah. if it keeps the direct what, what we're you, doing now hang on if it keeps going the way we're going now with our spending and the inflation you can't really push it up it'll just make it worse right and the inflation is a worldwide problem and the same problem in the uk as yeah. well um one of the things I just want to ask you to get your opinion on is, you know, there's some, what, what's your opinion about? A lot of people have been saying that uh, to edge against inflation, real estate is a good tool to edge against inflation because when inflation goes up, properties, the value of properties can go up. 
I mean, there's precious metals, which is gold, silver. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, that's how people have edged against inflation. Right. Um, you know, the problem is with the dollar is they go printing money and that's the way out of it. So that devalues it. Um, and then, of course, now we've got, you know, cryptocurrencies that are really starting to, you know, to come into it. And I, I really think at the moment, you know, there's some great value out there, to be perfectly honest, for um, people to start to get into crypto, even if you're spending $10. Yeah. You know, you know. Um, I think the unknown of it. It's kind of, it's one of those things where people are just uncomfortable kind of going in right now. Um, but to your point, if it's just 10 bucks, it's going a little bit. It's going to give you a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a Bitcoin, but it's still, well, you know, something. Oh, I was, I was watching, a, a um, one of my mentors last night that I'm involved with this I am Academy and I find it really <laughs> great educationally was saying that um, Warren Buffett, one of the rules for Warren <coughs> Buffett was, we all know who Warren Buffett is, started from yes. nothing. But he always said, you know, why would you buy an investment? All right, one, if you don't believe in it. And two, if you don't want to keep it. Because if you've got, say you've got $30,000 worth of Bitcoin, and you think, well, I'm going to sell it at $30,000. Right. Then what... What is that that's better to invest in $30,000 of Bitcoin at the moment? So why would you sell it? Why would you? So um, I it's, would like, it's like a house. If you buy a house and you buy it this week and you sell it next week, you're not going to make any money on it. Exactly. So whenever you make an investment, one of the things you need to ask yourself, is this something that I really want to hold on to for a long time? And you really are better off being in a position where you buy not as much of it, all right, although you'll always regret not buying more of it if it worked, but you really are better off buying a smaller amount of something than nothing. Totally and agree just with holding you. on to it. And just holding on to it because we really don't know where Bitcoin's going to end up. We really don't know. Um, uh, where a lot of the, you know, the cryptos are going to do all I'm going to say is that some of the cryptos that I've got, you know, in the last week or so, some of them have gone up 9% or 10%. I can't get that in a bank. Nowhere. You know, and there's some cryptocurrencies out there that, um, you know, when you really get into it, like staking and different things, I mean, they're paying 15% interest, 18% interest. Right. So. Well, my folders are green today. That's a change. <laughs> yeah they are green today i, I can say uh you know I'm, it I'm, is going up it, yeah i mean it, at least today it's mm -hmm. been i've been bleeding all week lost a few thousand here and there but it's uh you know it's it's kind of one of those things where you I, I just try not to look at it a good friend of mine um she, you know she'll reach out i just said look i stopped looking i don't i don't want I'm, it's like a like a bad credit score you don't want to look at your credit because you know it's bad it's like yeah I don't care. I'm not going to look at it, but I'm in. I'm already in. I'm not selling, at least not yet. So right. Well, you know, the, and the NAS and a number of things. I mean, they've been pretty flat, to be perfectly they honest. They have. You know, I mean, I'm looking at it now, and it's just very, very flat. It's just bouncing around in the same sort of area, and I just think it's waiting for that little Fed call. And and, and then we might see we, we might see some reaction. Um, but I mean, Microsoft was down yesterday. Microsoft was down, you know, to 280, which is, to me is a deal. It is uh, based on you know, where that, it was that, before. That's part of the, you know, the, the metaverse that they're doing. Um, so it, it's a real interesting time at the moment, but I do feel that one of my mentors said last night, he says that more, there's a possibility at the moment that more millionaires will possibly be generated, if you want to, this year because of all the fluctuations. The people that get onto the right line. Right. That's will, the key. Will, will, you know, will make some money. <clears throat> and of course, you know, everybody's a, a pro or uh, some kind of, which we, we do not claim to be. Again, this is not, 
financial advice channel. This is not a financial advice type of show. We just give our opinions on where we think things are um, because we are vested in, in this stuff. So um, we'll know today by 2.30 if, um, uh, one thirty our time, of course, if in fact they're going to raise these rates in March. Um, how, 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 do, how will it affect? How, how do you think it will affect the person on the street? How do you feel it will affect? I mean, it obviously affects businesses. Right. Absolutely. And I'm saying that from my point as a business owner. I believe that it, it will you know, um, affect businesses. The businesses are struggling at the moment. I mean, you've only got, got to walk down the street. Actually, we got a letter this morning from our storage company that we use. For, I saw that. For one of our um, HOAs <laughs> that we manage. And the storage company have gone gone into bankruptcy. bankruptcy. Yeah. So you say it's for so, the person on the street, just your regular layman that's not involved yeah, I mean, in this? How do you think, is it, I mean, I think, pri I think prices at consumer prices consumer prices i think will go up obviously oh yeah they're going to continue to go up and what's the fed's mentality that if they put interest rates up that'll slow that'll slow the spending down because because since all the government help we've had obviously money's been very free hasn't it well, well it has and that that's part of the thing where everybody's you know been taking all this money staying at home not working getting unemployment getting all this child tax credits and well you know it, you're feeling it now uh, because inflation it, everything is, is and, and it's crazy because we know that the cost of products and goods far outweigh as far as speed wage increases you know people can go five ten years before they get a a, a real salary increase that can match you know the, the what the cost of living is so it's an it's an it's a bad position to be in, but it's inevitable because that's kind of where we live. Um, with rate hikes, man, it's going to cost more money. Things are going to cost more for the companies, and who do you think they're going to pass that cost down to? To the consumer. So right. it's inevitable. We're going to see it's three dollars gas. Guy gets it, it is. Screwed. It's screwed, man. It's like, hey, shoot, and if 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 you don't, I don't know. If, if you're not informed of how it works man you're you're in a, in a bad pickle bad bad bad, bad pickle what, what do you think jacob i mean you're you're a youngster you're looking at you know continue you your life crypto? with your Are you only crypto or no i sold all my crypto uh -oh. a while ago what but, did you sell uh i had a uh, bitcoin i had a little bit of dogecoin and i had a few other like little stuff here and there i just kind of that was the example you made of like just throwing in 10 bucks that's kind of what i did what I, was doing, yeah. I did about like just 100 just to see how it goes and and it i made a little bit of money off of and it but was that, fun. that's what that that's what um i would highly recommend the people that are not in it input some of these systems you could put 10 bucks a day yep. if you can just put a cup of a cup a cup of coffee you know or two cups of coffee just 10 bucks a day and you know just go with it and go without your cup of coffee you know starbucks have got enough money they don't need any more did you um i want to sort of pull it back from me because i know there's a subject that i was meaning to put in there uh -oh. can you go to the live oh you're gonna love this you are going, you are going to love this are we topic. shifting i don't want to click the link and can you put it up on the on the screen have you heard about this elon musk calls elizabeth warren senator karen in fight over taxes have you heard about the story <laughs> no i haven't i have not elon musk decided voted to all these shareholders that he was going to sell 10 percent of his company and that's why the that's why the price of tesla has dropped because he sold 10 percent <coughs> of his company yeah. so the way the system works is he has to pay taxes on the profit that he's made the income that he's got from that 10 percent okay so did you know last year elon musk is going to be the highest taxpayer uh -huh. to pay taxes in the u.s and so what's happened is warren um 
what's her name, Elizabeth Warren turned around and tweeted, well, you know, these rich people need to pay their taxes. Da, 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 da. And then a photo was taken as Elizabeth Warren getting off her private jet and hiding, apparently, you know, not trying to be too conspicuous about it. And, you know, Elizabeth Warren's worth around, they reckon, $12 million. And so, you know, is she paying the taxes that she should be doing? Because what happens with a lot of wealthy people is when they own companies, and, and this is one of the big debates to me that's going to happen in the future. You've got the likes of Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. Well, he's flying to space. Now, is he flying to space to save his taxes or is he doing it generally for humanity? I'm not making a decision on both. All right. But is it his fun thing to do? I mean, he gets to fly to space. All right. But it's a way, if you think of it, of writing off his taxes. Well, now, at the same time, on the other side of the coin, right, you've got Elon Musk, who is trying to keep America ahead of the Chinese and the Russians. He's inventing electrical cars. You know, uh, he, bought, he bought out PayPal and developed PayPal. There's so many other different companies that he owns. So do you think he deserves the tax break? Because he's providing jobs. Tesla alone apparently employs over 100,000 people. Do you think he deserves a tax break? Tax break? For that reason? I'm just... I'm going, to, I'm going to answer your question. <laughs> okay. I'm going to answer your question. But it, it's, not, it's, not as, it's not as easy as that, to be perfectly honest. Because Elon Musk also made an interesting comment where he says, well, you can't compare Tesla or a business to the, the way America's run. Because with America, if there's a debt, what do they do? They just print more money. Pr yeah. You got the if it's a business then you go bankrupt. I got one this morning. Chapter 11. Right. Bang. You know, we've got 30 days to move out all the stuff that we owe in, that we've got in this storage unit for a homeowner's association. And it's the entire company, right? Yeah. Not just that location. No, just that yeah. entire company. That sucks. So <clears throat> it, it really brings you on to a lot of the wealthy people are they smarter or do you think they should put something into it? I personally think they should put something into it, whether it's as much as they do or whatever. But to me, I'll be honest with you, brought home the truth about Elon Musk. And I think being pretty forefront with it and honest with it and saying, OK, I'm going to give you. He gave the option to all his shareholders. You know, would you feel happier with me selling 10 percent? And he did a poll. Mm. And about 52, 53%, whatever it was, said, yes, absolutely. Sell it. So the shareholders are saying they don't want him to own so many shares. It's a lot of control. Did you see, did you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there's so many different aspects to this. But at the same time, what the speaker that was discussing this was basically saying was, Elon Musk is, is developing industries that were never there before he came into it. I mean, and then one of the disappointing things is from Elon Musk's point of view is when I bought my first electric car, the good old Chevy Volt, I got a, credit, a tax credit of $7,500. Well, that was only against so many hundred thousand cars, the first hundred thousand cars, you with me? Mm -hmm. When the bailout came in 2008, Ford had more money than anybody else bail them out chevy had more money to bail them out chevy's paid it back ford still owe tesla did not have as much money all right to bail them out but they paid their loan back nine years earlier than anticipated hmm. so which is the which is really the stronger company and if you look at the ford price and you look at the tesla price on the share price, <laughs> bit of a difference. Right. Most definitely. And I, I just thought it was an interesting thing because it's, I don't know, you, you, haven't, you haven't seen this little tattle that's been going on? on no, 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 but I'm still waiting on my answer though. 
Do you think he deserves a tax break? Do you think he doesn't? Don't answer the question with the question. Do you think he deserves a tax break? Next. Hey, no, man. Don't don't be like me. I'm I'm small fries out here. He has to pay taxes, obviously, if he sells his shares because he sells on the profit. So on that ten percent, I think he should have to. But I think he's got a very very good point when he because he actually explained it why rich, sort of why rich people do this why they do their other projects why they go to space mm -hmm. in one breath they're innovators <clears throat> but in the other breath they do it well what would i rather do whether i would, would i rather put the money and innovate to the future and generate jobs for people sure or would i rather pay the government and let them waste it that was his point that was really his point with the whole thing so it, for example, if this was my company and if I was making millions of dollars, what would I do? Would I rather give it to the government or would I rather invest it into other projects and generate jobs for people in the long term? Because that's what Bezos is doing. That's what Elon Musk is doing. What they're actually doing is, although we people like me say they're not paying enough taxes, as long as they're investing it, in American businesses. The thing that I've got a problem with is when these rich people take their jobs to Mexico to make cars and everything else, right. it's cheaper to generate the car in Mexico. Over there. That's Correct. my problem. I haven't got a problem with Elon Musk. Personally, I admire him for coming out and saying, well, I'm the biggest taxpayer. I admire him for doing that. I admire him for keeping the jobs over here. Now he's making Teslas in China but he's also generating jobs over here. I mean, what are all the companies that Elon Musk owns? He's got PayPal. Um, there's some other ones. I can go and pull them up quickly. But I mean, he, he owns... Um, he, are, he owns... Tesla, he owns, obviously, Tesla. PayPal, SpaceX. Um, there's a number of companies that he owns. Some of them I've never heard of. Zip2. You ever heard of a company called Zip2? Mm -mm. He's not a sole owner of PayPal. I thought he had, like, it was a part of it. Um, nevertheless, I'm still waiting on my answer. Because he, be put, because he puts that much back into the economy of the u.s mm -hmm. you think he deserves a tax credit i mean he, he he deserves to avoid paying as much in taxes is that what i'm getting for from you i think that okay i think the tax system should be based this way all right no he no no give, i'm answering you i'm answering your yes. question i'm answering your question because the system is fundamentally wrong don't disagree if these investors of elon musk and Be bezos and everybody else employs american people mm -hmm. they deserve a tax break they deserve not to pay taxes because what are they actually doing they're investing in what america they're investing in the people what i've got a problem with is and there's a catch-22 with this what i'm going to say is them getting cars manufactured abroad in mexico in china indonesia or whatever it is and then bringing them in and importing it in. And that's what I think there needs to be import taxes sure. on. So that. let's just say it's not cars. Let's just say it's a regular business. Let's say it's real estate. And I'm building businesses or hotels or uh, shopping malls or whatever the case is here in the United States. And I'm employing people here in the United States. I think, that, you, need, I think you need a tax break for employing people. Right. Okay. okay. That, that's what I think. If you're just taking mm. the money out and... But you're, if you're, you're keeping it here in the in the states, and you're employing people and building economy here. You think they should deserve yeah, the tax break? Okay. Then why are we giving Donald Trump such a hard time for uh, not paying the taxes? Because on... it is my belief. It is my belief that if he was that honest, then show us your tax returns. Bottom line. No, he, no, 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 he, no, no. he, 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 he cut more deals for the Saudi Arabians, and you know about all the problems with the Saudi oh, Arabians. Oh, my goodness. He cut more deals with the Russians. You're moving the goalposts. Let, right, let, let me ask you a lending question. 
if you declared bankruptcy, if I've declared bankruptcy five times, six times, could I go out and get a loan in a, in a traditional line of credit? In a consumer, no, but we're Thank not you. talking about that. You're moving the goalposts. We're talking about if you employ people here and you build business here, you said that Elon Musk... Oh, no, 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 hold on, let, no, me, no, fin no, let me finish. No, 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 no but, do, but Donald, keep, but Donald Trump didn't do that. You keep cutting me off. Donald Trump didn't do that. You are saying that Elon Musk gets a pass because he keeps it here and he gives jobs here. Donald Trump did employ people here yeah. in his hotels, in his golf courses, in all of those places. He and all did the it things he said here. about and all the things he said about Mexicans. We don't all the things he said about Mexicans. You're moving and he's the goal no, I'm not moving the you goalposts. Are. We're not talking not. about that. We're all talking the, about the jobs. all the time he said that these these are not. You're moving the goalposts on me. No, 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 no. You no. are no. All, the, all these times he turned around and said about illegals, which I don't, which I, I think we've got to sort something out with them because America is or should be the American dream. I don't think it is now. I came here as an immigrant with $50 in my pocket, but it's been proven. He employed, I don't like using the word illegal, but he employed people he didn't employ he didn't employ, he employed some americans but not all of them were americans oh, okay not all but the and majority he, and, and he to inflates be. there's a difference in integrity between elon musk and donald trump we're not donald i'm not talking trump, about any of that i don't donald know donald trump guys. inflates his property prices to get loans <laughs> And he deflates his property prices not to pay taxes. You, sir, are moving the goalpost. I asked I'm stating for specific. Facts. I asked for specifically the acts. I, I asked you the questions on purpose. The way that I asked them, if that, that I kept asking the same question. If he gives a tax break, if he's keeping it here, I ask for that reason alone. Because, and I'm not saying that he didn't do exactly what you said. Inflated, he may have. Let me finish. He may have done all of that, and he may have employed illegals, as we they say. Um, but that happens all over the place. My point was, if you employ someone here and you bring money to the economy, what's the big deal? If I've been able to find a loophole to avoid paying taxes, and I'm employing people, should I be entitled but to a tax, tax break? the tax break should be on the people that you employ. It shouldn't just be, well, I'm employing people. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying is there <laughs> should be something in place which basically is, is set that says that if you, if you employ so many people, and I don't know how you would do this. You have to speak to the experts, whether you do it on volume or whatever. Um, but then look at the innovation that Elon Musk has brought in Donald Trump's never involved any 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 technical advantages to society. Elon Musk has brought in a, technologically for the future. It's a different industry. I'm not talking about any of that. We're talking about company A, company B, both employing Americans, citizens, non-citizens, whatever. That's what and putting, is putting money, money in the Trump organization. Who is? Some of the Trump golf courses are losing money. Uh, most golf courses are losing money this time because it just costs too much. I play golf, so any golf course you go to these days are losing money, you ask them, bottom line, because folks just aren't getting out as often. But nevertheless, company A, company B, both paying taxes, um, employing people, bringing production to the country. All I'm saying is I think they both are entitled to a break of some sort. Well, how much it would be, I, I can't say. But, but they both are bringing it in. They both should be entitled to it, a break. Right, but okay. The 10% that Elon Musk paid, and he paid them taxes. All right? He paid that on profit, correct? Because he when sold 10% of his stake. Sure. So what's the difference in that and Donald Trump buying a property for $500,000, sold for a million dollars, then he pays capital gains tax, or whether he pays regular taxes, depending on the, his time frame, on how long he's owned it on that there's no difference that's exactly what, what, what elon the, musk has done what's i'm not i'm not knocking elon musk's action all i'm saying is if he deserves a tax break so does donald trump well where's his tax return 
Who cares? Yeah, no, I ain't talking I about care. that. I care. You care, but I, that's I not care. what I'm asking about. I care. If you're president of the United States... I'm not asking about any of that. If you're president of the United States, you need to disclose, disclose it. If, if I'm I, buying a house for a client, you need to disclose, disclose, disclose. No, apples and oranges. It's not apples and oranges. It is. It is not apples it, and oranges. It, it, is. We, it is. not Because it's not required. There's, there's so much, there is so much corruption in the politi with politicians. Every politician. So in that case, it should be compulsory. But it isn't. But it should be. But it is not, though. All right, so how do we change it? We just say, well, it's not required. What and we just go do? on our own merry way, and then you the have corruption to. carries on? You have to, because it hasn't turned them in. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, New York are taking care of that, aren't they? We'll see if they will. They're trying. I'll put money on it. But we'll. I'll I put will, money I, on I, it. I'm not putting any of my dollars on it because I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less about any of it, honestly. <laughs> because you, if you run a poll of any of those fools with in their tax returns, they all got money. Why is it that every president <laughs> that comes out of office going in? I would just say this: come out multi multi millionaires. The Clintons, multi multi. Well, because they write all the books. The, the Obamas, multi multi. But it's not. Just, but it's not just the presidents. It's the. It's the I'm just using it, them as an example. It's the, it's the other. Who was the other guy that wrote a book the other day? Somebody that was a, a, a Trump's right hand man. Hmm. I'm trying to think what he was, and he, he was. Oh, you're talking about the one that. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember. Um, I got the book. I, no, I, there you go. You know, I, I, you decide to the buy book. the book and get the inside yeah, scoop. I got the book, but nevertheless, man, it's just it's a money grab. All of it is. You know, Elizabeth Warren calling uh, Elon Musk a freeloader. Really, really, lady. What? When is the last time you've been to the grocery store? And uh, I guarantee she doesn't know the cost well, of a, a gallon of milk. But the the ironic part of this between between Musk and Warren is the fact that Elizabeth Warren is there saying, oh, I'm fighting for the people. She's and a da, liar. Da, 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 da. You don't think Trump was? Was what? You don't think Trump was a liar? Everybody's a liar. Okay, good. As long as we got that established. And basically, I think it's ir ironic, to be perfectly honest, that here they are turning around and saying, we're fighting for the people and da, 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 da. And here you are going around in private jets. And these people are not fighting for the people because our government... Although everybody thinks that we're, we live in a democracy, this is a democratic republic. We live in a republic. We, we don't live in a true democracy like they had or have in other countries where the people really choose the people. Now, some of those societies are in ruin, of course, because people just, people are emotional and they choose. But the pound, the pound's up against the, the wrong, dollar, wrong that's way. what you're referring to. I said other countries, man. Is that, <coughs> you, you think I'm always picking on the UK, man? Come on. He's talking about ancient Greece. It's no longer around. It's no longer around, well, they, man. They decided, they did. Hey, Greece decided to go broke big They're time. In ruin. But do you know why they went broke? Do you know the main reason why they went broke? Why? Corruption. Oh, well. That, you know, that's... And, and so, and that's, that's the issue. Um, well, that, that won't go away as long as we have human beings living somebody's gonna be corrupt well i think you can make as long as we have politicians you, that's you how it's gonna be <laughs> i think you can make steps to open it like look at people's taxes man these people make uh almost two hundred thousand dollars a year elizabeth warren to be a senator just off rip just whether she goes to work or not she, that's what we pay her and she's got her, the nerve to Call somebody a freeloader? Come on, lady. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just anyway, not with it. Quite off topic. I just thought it was good to sort of to defend the likes of Elon Musk because when you really look at Elon Musk with the with the um, you know obviously he's, he's the highest you know taxpayer, but at the this same year. time this year, and then <clears throat> you see about. <clears throat> you know how they invest in the future of America. Um, I think the government need to invest more in the future and communities and, and all the other good stuff with that. Um, but I do think that there's a lot of people that aren't paying taxes who should be paying taxes. I pay taxes, and I, I say to everybody, a typical example is Jack. You know, my son. He was earning twenty-three grand a year, and he's paying. <laughs> 
about $2,800 in tax. Nobody wants to pay taxes. But it's not, it shouldn't be looked on that way. I don't mind paying taxes. I don't mind paying my fair well, share I of do. taxes. I do. So you expect the roads to be there for free? And I, I didn't say you for free. Expect... I'm just telling you that I don't, I don't so, like paying so, the so toll away. That, how would you? you but I've like... got to do it. It's one of those necessary evils. I don't like paying for <laughs> well, insurance, but I've got to do it. The thing with the toll away I don't like, they said, oh, well, you've got to pay the toll while we pay for the cost of it. But for some reason, it's always been there. <clears throat> it hasn't gone away. Um, and it won't. <clears throat> I guess you've got to maintain it. But, uh, Anywho, but that was a pretty good discussion. I oh yeah, yeah, man. Of course, you I know. But I thought it was interesting with Elon Musk. I sort of I got my mixed feelings about Elon Musk, but at the same time, when you look at the innovation that he's done and what he's achieved, I mean, that has got to be admired. You know, really, it has. Well, he's got some competition coming because GM is announcing uh, a new factory coming in the Michigan area, um, seven billion dollars. And most of these vehicles are going electric. Mm -hmm. um, here's what I don't understand. Why do they have to be so ugly? I don't like the way that that, that truck looks. Um, oh, it looks pretty cool. I don't like I it. I think it looks better than the Cybertruck. Absolutely. The, well, Absolutely. You know, well, I don't disagree <laughs> with that. I definitely don't disagree with that. But I don't know. It just kind of looks... I, don't know. I guess I don't like the grill. <clears throat> To me, that's the most unattractive part for me. Yeah, it looks like very plastic and cheap. Yes, say. like it would fall to pieces if you ran into something. But Ford uh, for and me. GM are putting, you know, a lot in their future on, you know, electric vehicles. Well, I think this will be good for Michigan, man, because they they've kind of had some. I don't even know if they still have the brown water in Detroit or whatever they were doing. Um, but bringing the, this auto industry, this manufacturing company, directly to that uh, Michigan area, I think they said uh, there's a new battery cell plant in Lansing or something, I think, in the article. And that, that's the problem at the moment, is getting the batteries right. Yeah, but 4,000 um, jobs will be created. Yeah, and then the other part that's interesting about the electric vehicles is, and this is one of the big arguments with electric vehicles, is you need lithium to put into an electric battery. So from an environmental standpoint, lithium is predominantly available in South America. Right. And they have to dig these big mines and they pollute, <clears throat> they pollute the country and they leaving poverty areas, you know, in even a worse situation. Oh, we, we don't care about those people away. though, right? We don't care about we those do. folks. We do and we should. <laughs> the, the, but the truth we is, do, you and I, but the, the big money guys don't. But they're going in there, they're pulling this lithium out. So, you know, as much as... I agree with electric vehicles yeah, at the same time. It has its cost and its pros and there cons. Is. There's going to be always something that contributes negatively to the Absolutely. environment in some way until we go full renewable energy on everything and everything we do. Would you want to drive an electric Camaro? Well, here's my issue with an electric Camaro. <laughs> when you jump into a Camaro, and I've got to say the new Corvette is absolutely incredible. It is awesome. That is absolutely incredible. Side note, I, I told the my wife. The other day I looked over, I'm driving somebody, and we was actually going to Office Depot to get some office supplies, and Jeffrey's next to me. And I turned around to Jeffrey and said, do you see that Ferrari over there? And, and I said, did it look cool? And I drove by it. Ain't a Ferrari. And, then you, see, and you, see the, ain't a Ferrari. you see the Chevrolet. And I'm like, oh my but God. But I'll tell you what, someone left Ferrari and went to go work at GM because those Corvettes, man, they, I told my wife, I said, you know what? I'm not one of these midlife crisis guys where you, you get your Corvette and you drive it. Why but not, those, James? We can those, have a Corvette. Man, those Corvettes are dope. I wouldn't care. You can call me having a midlife crisis. I don't <laughs> care. I'll get that. <laughs> man, they, they are nice. They are very, very nice. But. You, one of our agents bought one last year. Oh my goodness. All right. With all the bells and whistles on, you know, signs the contract, buys it before it's even come out. I don't know, she paid 75, 80 yeah. for it. And then now the price announced is what, 120? Then, yeah, because they're they just. honored the price. She went back to them and says, you need to honor this price. And really? they did. Oh, wow. So she got herself a heck of a deal. She did, yeah. She did. Those things are so popular now. They're almost impossible to find and get now yeah. they're a back order list. for so much yeah. but you, we were saying about the camaro you get in the camaro so you can do what 
hear that roar. Hear the roar. I can't see me driving an electric Camaro, man. It's just like, why is it so quiet? It's like, eh. I bet you, I uh, here in the future, you know what they're gonna start doing now? Pumped in audio into the cabin. <laughs> we need to get in on it on ground floor. A pair of speakers in the back. Hey, we can add the sound effects to the electric vehicle so they sound like well, I've told a real you, car. you know, I like Formula One. Oh, yes. I've always liked Formula One. And then you said one, oh, they're going electric. They're not going electric. Well, so the, some of them are the, the for, I think it was. Formula E. Formula right. E is electric. Yeah, but Formula One thing. is not, it's still going to have you know, gasoline, but it, there's more restrictions on it. But those engines in so Formula 1, when you go though, to a Formula 1 race... That's what's exciting. Part of the exciting thing is hearing that roar coming down the street. <laughs> <laughs> because you hardly see the car. And if you're lucky enough, if you've been able to watch it, and you can kind of see them coming up on some of those curves, and they're trying to pass the guy, and they're, they're shifting down and shifting back up. Yeah. It's just... It's amazing to watch. It definitely and is. Actually, while I'm on that subject, I want to throw something else into the podcast. What you got? Do you think Lewis Hamilton's going to come back? Because some people are saying I think he's done. They don't think they think he's done. They don't think he's coming back. Why? He's uh, still young. I I personally, Lewis Hamilton is is one of my heroes. I would I would love to meet Lewis Hamilton just to shake his hand. And yeah, you should, man. Y'all native, I, native Brit I think Brits. He's, I think he's brilliant. You know, I really do. I've got a lot of his. You know, his he's a knight. Stuff. You, I think he got knighted. You know that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, but I would like to see him win the world championship more than, you know, Schumacher. If he wins it one more time, then he's won it more times. And I think it's <coughs> worthwhile staying in just for that. But I reckon that Max, you know, Max Verstappen mm -hmm. is really uh, um, maturing, if you want to, ahead of his years. Mm. You know, and what, and what they're, they're changing the rules in Formula One now where everybody's more competitive. You know, one time it was Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. Because they had the money to just throw at it. Right. But, you know, and it's interesting about Red Bull. Red Bull... Who Max drives for are the only team that sells drinks. They have nothing to do with cars. Cars, right. That's true. And it's such an achievement for Red Bull, to be perfectly honest, to go into that money guzzler with the money that it takes to, you know, to go behind that. But the owners of Red Bull have been into this now for what, over 10 years. Right. And it's such an achievement for Red Bull to even pull that off. Ha, so. Has he said, uh, have you heard him say something to Mer that Mercedes, he wasn't coming back? In the back? Formula One world, it's very, very, it, it's such a, a discussion point at the moment. Because what, one of the things Lewis Hamilton has always wanted to do is to start his own fashion line. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of business people that are saying, now's the time for him to do that. Uh. So there's other business interests that they feel... You know, is perhaps the right time now for Lewis to step back. That space um, is so crowded, though, man. I, I'll be. I but, I, but I really feel that I think Lewis Hamilton was hard done by personally in the last race. That of course, you know, I'm not the best person to perhaps to give a fair judgment. Uh, I don't think it's any good crying about it. But you know, when you blacked out and you've got a, you know. A red flag coming out and you've got to slow down and everybody's got to stay in order right and then half a lap before you know the finish of the race you're overtaken i think you'll be back i hope so i, I think the sport will you need me to call him I'll absolutely call him. i'm saying look lou it, it's not time to quit bro not <laughs> we don't need no clothes bro it's a we, you know it's enough fashion is crowded man we stick to these cars I think you would do halfway decent fashion. Well, I mean, you, you got just, the name, you got, you got a got, following, yeah, you got of a following. course. I've, yeah. My, my deal is if you're, I mean, if you do a signature line with someone that's already in the space, but when you're trying to create a brand new, it, it's just a tough, it, it's a oh, tough yeah, area. Imagine. Yeah. Um, to get in there. So, but nevertheless, man, I mean, I, I will, fingers crossed, we hope it'll be back um, soon. So, <clears throat> I got a little bit of, uh, we can put a bow in this a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I saw a video 
the other day, and it was a clip from the Dr. Phil show. And um, I this was going to say it was a cartoon. Oh, no. You may or may not want to answer this, <laughs> but I'm going to ask oh. it anyway. Oh. Um, the debate was what is a woman? Do you and... want my clean version? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a definite oh, I've got a definition of a woman, but it might not be very clean. Oh man, you know, it's YouTube, so you want to be careful. There's, there's, there's two special points and there's something else that's very important. Of course. You know, of course we know. Course. We know those. The question was was what is a woman? And the way that they went in on describing or defending and what it is. And they were asking like multiple people, man. And these folks had some of the most lame brain definitions. It's like, well, whoever, whatever you feel like, if you feel like a woman, if you know, whoever decide, if you identify as a black. So it I, never I, came up, you know, you know, if they're moody once a month, I mean, there's none, none, none of that, that came up. none of that, none of that came up at all. It was just, what is a woman? Well, actually, and they, they went through maybe twice or three times a month. My wife. <laughs> oh no! You you about to get in trouble? That's what you're about to do. I'm going home for a beating. But um, I just thought it was interesting, man, that we are we live in a space now where we can't tell the truth. We can't have an opinion about something, and if you don't agree, then I must hate you, uh, or or I'm phobic of you, and I just I'm just not on that. So whole what train. was some, what were some of the answers? Man, I wish I could find the clip. Um, some of the, it was that along those lines, whoever you identify with, if you feel like a woman, then you can be be a woman. Um, and they referenced some of these, these folks, like there's a guy that went to prison for murdering somebody and now he identifies as a woman. So they're moving him to the women's prison. And I think I got a problem with that. It's like, bro. No oh, man, you came here as a man. You staying with the men, bro. Sorry, yeah, that's just that's just what it is. Um, let me see if I can find this stupid clip. Yeah, I've I've got a, I've got a few coming up here. Hold on. Uh, you are. Oh, yeah, I've got something. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. it was Doctor Phil with Matt Matt Walsh. Um, it was on. It wasn't that. I'm long. putting the link. I'm putting the link on Discord now for you. This is one of the. It's a written version, I think. But it, it basically. There you go. <coughs> it should be a. Um... Can you bring that up? What, what is a woman? Controversy after this. Phil puts non-binary guests against conservative. Yes. So Matt Walsh. If you don't know who Matt Walsh is, not a clue. He's he's a conservative guy. Um, kind of he not not a Ben Shapiro type. Uh, so so. Um, but conservative. But this person here. Um, was on the show and that they were interviewing that per I don't even remember the person's name um, but they were on the show and he was being questioned um, uh, Matt Walsh was being questioned by that person and it was they were trying to just explain what a woman defining what a woman is and as you can see that person has long hair um and a beard and quite frankly i i think that's that's for shock value there is no other reason in my opinion that you want to have long hair like a woman and facial hair like a man that is just beyond me i don't get it don't understand it um probably never will but the fact remains that's they couldn't answer that question. And Matt Walsh basically just ripped them to shreds in explaining just because you feel like something doesn't make it true. If you go off facts, biologically, this is what it is. This is what it, and he kind of went back and forth. And I don't know, it's just for me, man. If, if I were a woman, I would probably be offended for someone um, wanting to all of a sudden jump in front well, of the line. All I can say is, if, if I was dating, <coughs> I'm not that inclined to date somebody like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I would hope not, sir. 
I would hope well, not. Well, you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Yeah, yeah. If that's your thing, yes, that's that's the key. Um, but it, I actually, don't know. If you, if you scroll down on that article, I don't know if you can do that, but there's there's actually a video. No, here I'm. I'm putting the video in the link. I found it. Um, and we don't have to listen to the whole is thing, this, of is course. This the one? Watch on Twitter. You can see what you can see part of it. Yeah, we can see what part of it that, that is. What did Dr. Phil have to say about this? Dr. Phil, they were actually pretty fair um, in, you know, kind of giving their opinions on it. Um, no bias. But the, the problem I had is that when Matt Walsh made a point, dead silence. But when the other person was making a point, everybody's, oh, yeah. Which, oh, yeah. which other person? The, the, the bearded lady. Oh, they was on the show. Yes. The bearded lady was on the show. And I'm just like, man, look, I'm not into mistreating anyone for any reason at all. But let's, if it's chocolate pie, it's chocolate pie. Come on. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> <coughs> Will it let you play it or no? That's a question I would like to throw out to you know, other members of the panel. Actually, the volume? just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl. Uh, you can't well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender thing. ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what oh, it is, is. okay. Well, can you tell me what a woman is? That, that, there you go. And this is another one. Because Ethan identifies as a non-binary trans masculine. different for everybody. What's a non-binary? You Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. What does a female mean? I have no clue. Uh, well, that's, how do you, how do you define with, as I understand, it's just you don't identify with either someone who's gender. Know, here's the thing: when you're, when um, you're so you right down to your bones, your DNA. I, I guess. So that's why if someone or they, dies, as they say now, okay. we could dig um, up their bones. I mean, and and it, now. we have no idea. What it's a choice. I just want what I'm going to say <laughs> now is very, very controversial. <laughs> that's what I like. It. Come on, <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> But it's, but it's not meant to sound because, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, you, you don't choose whether you're gay or otherwise, and mm -hmm. which I, <clears throat> I accept that more than I do with this thing. Well, I choose to be a woman or I choose to be a Me man. Me too. You know, if you're into the girls, I, I accept that more into the guys i accept that more because that's a preference right that's right. just what your, what your preference right. i get it okay cool but when you've got something and then you <clears throat> chop it off or you or you stitch something together i don't have you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> to find out how they do that oh. you need a doctor on the show <laughs> But oh man! <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, you know, I think that's a sort of all different story. It is. It truly is. And I think we should just we should be able to answer a question, man, and it just be a logical question because that's the space. I would say, if anything, I have to say, you know, we talk about science and everything. Science is an, it's it's an exact right. It's typically you get a. But a solution, it, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. But, so the but, science would say that an X X chromosome exists and an X Y chromosome exists, right? And if you got one and the other, it's just the two. But in James' world, it depends what science what we're talking about. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about just science in general okay. when it comes to the chromosomes. I agree with the science. That, that's where it is. I mean, there's no arguing that, man. I don't care how you. I feel like a skinny uh, black man. But I am not. That does not make me But that's skinny. one thing you're right about. Today. Hey, well, well, there you go. See? And I, I feel like you uh, have a, a full head of hair. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, I do. And, and, it and grows it, so quickly, I have to cut it all the time. Exactly. <laughs> right down the middle. <laughs> Ying. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just... I, 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 of course, you got to have a little so bit of what's controversy. Your, so what's your feeling on, I know in Texas it was a big deal at the time with this thing where, <clears throat> and I really still don't fully understand it, the transsexual thing mm -hmm. and bathrooms. 
What's your feeling on that? I mean, I, I think there is an answer to it, but I don't think it's the right wording. Well, going to the disabled toilet is what I was honestly thinking, because that's not a male or a female toilet. Right. But that's the wrong wording. You understand? I don't mean that in a. Well, I don't. I don't. In a in a in a der derogatory. No, right. I don't. No, I understand what you're saying. Because I respect sure. that particular city. Because that was a huge controversy in Texas. Oh yeah, I think that I don't know if you've noticed or not, but in the restaurants. I, you walk up to the doors now, and it's it's both. It's it's like, hey, pick your choice. I, when I, I was, I forgot where I was at. And do you think day. that's the answer? Do you think that's the answer in there? Because the truth of the Man, matter is, I, if I'm a teenager and I want to do something, then perhaps you know, with my girlfriend, and we're both into it. I mean, you never know what you're going to see in the bathroom. restaurant. You know, I mean, you don't because you can both be in there. It's more comfortable than the car. I, I don't think. I mean, I, look. <laughs> is it though um i, I don't know hey, man when i was a teenager <clears throat> it was yeah. fun then were the days the, I, I have them back i'd have them back any day don't, don't start confessing anything on here steve um i don't know man I, I i don't know that that's uh the answer just i, I think you should go to the restroom to the where you and honestly if if you really look like one or the other Maybe go to one that you look like, whatever. <laughs> okay. But when, okay. You, when you got long you hair and a beard, the... now <laughs> that person has to use the restroom at home. It's like, you know what? You can't uh, come. Okay, let me, okay. The guy with the beard with the bikini on, all right, he's on the beach mm -hmm. and he wants to go to the restroom. Which one does he go into? Just go on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> go go, go in the water. The sea. Go out there and just, you know, hey, it'll wash away. I don't know, man. It's just, it's a, it's crazy. And of course, you can never give an answer that will satisfy everyone. Um, but it's just, I, I wanted to touch on that a little bit because I saw that clip, man. It was just like, wow, can you, I can't, but what, it was more baffling to me that the audience was just clapping. And it's like, yo, but crazy. all he's doing it for is shock value. That, of course. That's really what he's doing it for. It, there's no other reason. The rest of your body is like, bro, you, you, you looking. I don't know. I'm not with it, but whatever. To each his own, um, or her own, however, you, whatever they want to identify as. It's all good. Well, shoot, man. Um, this has been fun. Yes. <laughs> it, it has been uh, been fun. So you know, we are excited about where this is taking us. Um, Where's it taking us, Jay? I don't know, man. We're gonna see. Um, markets are still. Let me see. Where I'm actually they? just looking at the markets now. Yeah, they've been bouncing around. Yep, they are. They're just bouncing around. They're not really <clears throat> I'm still in the going green. one way or the other. They're just... Still in the green so far. Still in the green. So, anywho, that's all I got for today, man. I'm uh, I'm excited. It's the end of the month, so we got to get these loans closed. And, um, and we've had a pretty good month. We've good, had a, yeah. You know, um, and looking forward to February. I mean, it, it seems like yesterday was Christmas, and today it's the end of January. So well, it's definitely... Um, been an interesting, you know, month. I'm actually surprised with some of the numbers. But it's a good to start, though. To be honest, it, it is, is a good start. It has been a very, very good. Yeah, start. good start. And I don't know whether that's because the interest rates are going up. People are trying to get in just at the end. It is. The fear um, of missing out, man. That, the, that happens all you the know, time. But the truth of the matter is, I mean, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. And I spoke to what some other. Um, brokers that I know in the industry in Houston, and actually even one in California, one in the Northeast, and they've all said that January has been pretty strong. Because cool. traditionally January is not it's a little strong, slower. Yeah, it's, it's not a it's, it's, a it's not a strong month. Yeah, excuse me, I just want to go in there and make a trade. Absolutely, but, ba but basically, um, traditionally, it's not a strong you know month. Yeah. But we'll, we'll take it for now and we'll keep so the ride going. The, the Fed are coming in today and they're having their announcement. Yes. Then, when's the next? Every three months, isn't it? Well, the, well not, every, not every three months, but um, like they'll have one. Today they'll have one and then they'll, when, if they decide to up the rates, then they'll have one in March when they say, and then they'll talk about um, what the rates are going to be. 
and then they'll hit again in May. May and June, they run the, run together because they take a break somewhere in there, and then July. Okay, I was just under I think the, August. I was off. just under the impression <clears throat> that it was they they sort of had a an announcement every six months or so, but not. No, no, no. They the, well, they have announcements, but they meet like eight or nine times a year. So oh, okay. we just don't. It's not always about a rate hike. So well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. So when's the big announcement? couple of hours yeah uh we'll know about 1 30. okay we'll see all right then Go. all right guys well we're gonna sign off we appreciate your time thanks for tuning in hope you found it entertaining i thought it was pretty entertaining absolutely and as always we want you to know that if you want to start a career in real estate please reach out to the olympian here you got the information down in the description and if you need mortgage help for buying refinancing um, my information is down as well. We'll be here next week. Same time, same yeah. channel. And don't forget, Winter Olympic starts February the 3rd. Yes, sir. February the 3rd. That'll so, be good. I guess we can talk about that in the next podcast. Absolutely, that'll be fun. be interesting to see sort of, you know, how that goes and see which teams are going to be competing in that. We want to see what that, uh, I think Jamaica put in a, the bobsled team the first time in, in years. So we'll see how they go. No, oh, I was going to say, the other one was Cool Runnings that they did. Yeah. Is a cool running. Cool. All, All right. right, guys. Have a good week. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Peace.